In this video, we'll install the Horizon Connection Server. The Connection Server brokers client connections by authenticating and directing incoming user desktop requests. Before we start, let's take a look at the prerequisites. Make sure that the account you use to install the Connection Server has administrative privileges. Download and copy the installer file to the Connection Server VM or copy it to an accessible location. You must have a server VM with the required virtual hardware, a supported Windows OS, and a static IP address. For more information about virtual hardware requirements, see Hardware Requirements for Horizon Connection Server in the Horizon Installation and Upgrade Guide. And for a complete list of supported operating systems, see the Knowledge Base article, Supported Operating Systems and MSFT Active Directory Domain Functional Levels for Horizon 8. To begin the installation, locate the connection server installation file that you downloaded. Right-click the file and select Run as Administrator. Click Next. To install it in the default location, click Next. Now you can see the installation options. For our setup, we're selecting Horizon Standard Server and installing HTML access. We'll keep IPv4 for the protocol version. Note that all VMware Horizon components, including the Horizon Agent on desktop VMs and or DSH server VMs, must be installed with the same IP version. Click Next. Enter your data recovery password details. This is the password you'll need to recover a backup of your connection server. Click Next. Keep the option to configure the firewall automatically. Next, keep the option to authorize a specific user or domain group and click Next. You can choose whether to join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program, click Next, and click Next again. We're almost ready to install. Take a look at the deployment location options. You can deploy Horizon in any number of cloud environments. For this exercise, select General, seeing as we're installing in an on-premises environment. Click Install. OK, note the checkbox to show documentation. This is quite handy. You'll see that the documentation opens up after we click Finish. On my desktop, I have a shortcut to the Horizon Administrator Console. We'll take a closer look in the next videos. For more Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.